am so I'm about week 26 and I can't believe that this is halfway through the year so halfway through my second project life which I can't believe um I'll be starting to think about getting my 2024 album soon so yeah it's uh it's been a busy one this week so we were back in the UK back from the holiday but we had so much planned um it was a bit sort of silly of us really to have so much planned but it went fine everything went to plan uh, we were just tired because obviously we were jet lagged um but it was still fun so i'm using the back side of design w so i've got the five six by fours and the two three by fours and i'm using for this week the my favorite summer collection by echo park um just because it's summery obviously but it's quite muted it's not really bright um, it's just got some nice little pastel colours and things on there. So I do like to try and use my summer collections in summer because obviously it's the only time of year that you can use them. Um, so it was uh, quite an easy decision to use this one. So the first photos are going to go at the top. Um, are two pictures of Moose that I've just printed side by side uh, on my Canon selfie. Uh, basically, he's obsessed with the fridge. Like He absolutely loves the fridge. He thinks he's going to get chicken or ham every time we open the fridge. Um, and sometimes he just sits there. Um, and just stares at it so I thought it was quite cute I took this picture and sent it to Joe, um, and I just put some washi tape along the top with um, these cute little fruit stickers um, I did use the word sticker that says happy and also the one that says you are my sunshine just in the middle as well um, the paper pad that I'm using is just one from craft sensations and it's actually it's a weird shaped one um, but it's really nice it it, it does the I can, what I'm trying to say, they, the, the pieces fit the pockets really well um, because of the size, the shape of them. And um, they're just obviously a bit bigger than six by four. So they just match, uh, just go in quite, nice, quite nicely. So then the photo that's going to go underneath the title card um, is just a three by four and it's going to be of me trying to sleep. So, I mean, we were seven hours behind in Calgary sort of area uh alberta and uh so coming back we were up at crack of dawn we were absolutely shattered the day that we came back and we did manage to sleep a little bit but we were up at three o'clock in the morning like wide awake i was up at three o'clock in the morning scrapbooking um i'd have a nap and things but then other days i was just dead to the world so it was just a bit of a mix of everything and then it doesn't help that obviously this time of year it's super light really really early in the morning so if your curtains are open um, you just get bombarded by sunlight. Um, so this is just a picture of outside the window when I was trying to sleep. And obviously the sunset was quite nice. Um, but this was 4.25 in the morning. I was wide awake because of jet lag. Um, and yeah, I just thought it was quite a nice little photo of the, the sunrise coming up. Um, so I'm just going to use a little tree sticker. And I'm going to put the sweet summertime sticker at the top. I actually edited this on um, my phone before I printed it, which I thought was quite nice because obviously it's got the time on and obviously I can write a little bit on there. I do need to do that a little bit more just because it's quite it's a lot easier to do that than it is to try and find alphas for all the little words that I want to use. So the other three by four card is just actually a picture of my be real because we didn't get any other photos, which is annoying. Um, but we were out for dinner with our friends on the Tuesday. We went to our favourite curry house and we went with them um, just to have a catch up and things. We've both been on holiday, so it was nice to talk about our holidays and stuff. Again, I've used my phone just to put a little geotag and the name of the restaurant down the bottom. And I'm going to put the little ice cream sticker on the bottom as well as a uh, sticker that says chill out and then one of the little tab stickers i'm using um some little sticky notes i'll come back to them because i realized that none of these cut parts that i'm going to use have any space for journaling or anything so it means that i am um, you know i needed to make some space obviously to write some bits and pieces on so i wanted to use these little post-it notes they came in all sorts of colors and uh, i think orange blue green and that sort of thing they're just these little ones here they came from neon sheep um, I'm just going to use those just to put next to some photos that I can obviously write on. So then the photo down the bottom on the Tuesday. Oh, sorry, we went to go see our friends on the Monday. Yeah, we went to go see our friends on the Monday for uh, food. And then on the Tuesday, I went out with my friend to go see the Rocky Horror Show, um, which was absolutely amazing. It was probably one of the best musicals I've ever seen. Um, it was just so good. It was so interactive. Uh, but these two photos here are just a picture of me and my friend and then the picture of the theatre so it was in Leeds um so it was quite an older theatre and it was just so cool I absolutely loved it that's the um 
show sort of leaflet that I'm going to put in the middle of my project life um, just to add to it. And then I'm just cutting out the ticket because I'm going to put the ticket on the, the right hand side um, on there. So, yeah, it was just absolutely amazing. I highly recommend it if it ever comes to anyone near you definitely go. It's just so good. The The crew are amazing and they're so talented. Um, so I'm just, again, putting some sticky notes down. So obviously I can write some bits on pieces on there. I put these sunglasses at the top. Um, and then on the one with the ticket, I'm just going to leave it quite plain, really. I'm just going to, because it's got a nice black border around the actual ticket, I'm just going to leave it as it is. Just put the word sticker that says summer and then a little cherry sticker on the other side. The cut part that's in the middle that currently says sunny days, I'm actually going to change it. Um, you'll see it in the photo afterwards. I change it to uh, one that says hello summer. Just because I didn't really want the blue, I thought this hello summer one that you'll see later, it just goes a bit better with the white um, on there. Um, but yeah, so that is my first part of the week. So it was a busy one. So as I said, we went out for tea and going out for shows and stuff like that. It definitely got me around the jet lag. It probably was the best thing to do rather than sort of just being at home where you could just easily go for a nap, you're sort of forced to go out and uh, stay awake, basically. So probably the best thing we could have done. Uh, but yeah, I had a great time um, going to the show. I absolutely loved it. I rave, it, rave about it all the time. I just think it was so good. Um, the title card that I'm going to use, I'm just going to use these ones with the little flags. Um, and I'm going to use the red sort of outlined arrow just for where I'm going to put my title I just end up using really plain sort of typewriter font ones and um, just in white and just put week 26 and then I'm going to stamp the dates which is the 25th of June until the 1st of July so we're actually in July now which is crazy um so yeah really busy week I've actually started my Strasbourg album album now which is really really exciting um only eight months after we came back from the trip so um, I'm looking forward to getting stuck into that. Um, and yeah, I'm pretty much up to date with my project life again now, because obviously I was a couple of weeks behind because we were away. Um, so I'm back up to scratch with that. So I feel like I'm getting there. My wedding album is pretty much up to date with how much we've done so far with our preparation of our wedding. So yeah, I feel like I'm finally getting um, up to scratch with some projects and things. So that's good. So I'll carry on with my Strasbourg album and I'll carry on with my project life. <laughs> and uh, I'm sure I'll be back with lots more things coming ahead because we've got so much planned and I just want to document all of it. So I hope you've enjoyed this one and this part. I'll be back with the part two shortly. And yeah, have a lovely day. Bye.